Imagine a celestial body so massive that it's about 34 billion times the mass of our sun. Yes, you heard right, billion with a B. Welcome to the realm of the extraordinary, the home of the unimaginable, the dwelling of the incomprehensible. Today we delve into the heart of the cosmos to meet the giant, among us Tun 618, the largest black hole known to mankind. To comprehend the sheer enormity of this cosmic leviathan, let's put things into perspective. Picture our solar system with its eight planets, countless asteroids, comets and dwarf planets all swirling around our sun. Now, multiply the mass of our sun by 34 billion. That's the scale we're talking about. It's a figure so immense that it defies our everyday understanding of size and mass. But how big is ton 618 exactly? Well, it's approximately 200 billion kilometers in diameter. That's about 1,300 times the diameter of Pluto's orbit around the Sun. To put it another way, if Tun 618 was placed at the heart of our solar system, it would engulf all the planets and extend far beyond the orbit of Neptune. Now take our Milky Way galaxy, a sprawling cosmic metropolis with hundreds of billions of stars. Tun 618's event horizon alone could swallow our entire galaxy and still have room for dessert. And where does this cosmic beast reside? Tun 618 is located a staggering 10 billion light years away from Earth. That's a distance so vast that the light we see from it today started its journey when life on our planet was just beginning to stir. And 618 is not just a number or a data point, it's a reminder of the awesome power and scale of our universe, a testament to the mysteries that lie beyond our humble blue planet. This colossal beast, ladies and gentlemen, is Tun 618, the largest black hole known to mankind. Let's journey back to the time when this gargantuan entity was discovered. Picture this. The year was 1966. Astronomers, armed with their trusty telescopes, were scanning the cosmos when they stumbled upon a celestial object that was emitting radio waves. This object was catalogued as Tun 618, but it wasn't until the dawn of the 21st century that the true nature of Tun 618 began to unfold. With the help of more sophisticated tools like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, Scientists were able to determine that Tun 618 wasn't just an ordinary celestial object. No, it was something much larger and far more intriguing. Tun 618, ladies and gentlemen, is a supermassive black hole, and it's not just any supermassive black hole, it's the biggest one we've discovered till date. This cosmic behemoth is estimated to have a mass of approximately 66 billion times that of our Sun. To put that into perspective, it's about 8,000 times more massive than the black hole at the centre of our own Milky Way galaxy. Now, where exactly is this colossal black hole located? Tun 618 resides in a distant galaxy in the constellation Canis Venatici, which translates to hunting dogs in Latin. The distance from Earth to Tun 618 is staggering. It's located roughly 10 billion light years away, that's right. The light we see from Tun 618 today actually left the black hole about 10 billion years ago, which is roughly two-thirds the age of the universe itself. So there you have it. A celestial giant discovered using the tools of human curiosity and ingenuity. It's a testament to our relentless quest for knowledge and understanding of the universe we inhabit. Hidden in the depths of space, Tun 618 continues to baffle us with its sheer size and distance. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other wonders we might uncover. But how did Tun 618 become so massive? Let's delve into the science behind it. To comprehend the enormity of Tun 618, we first need to understand the concept of supermassive black holes. These celestial phenomena are the largest type of black holes, with masses exceeding one million suns combined. They're found at the center of almost every large galaxy, including our own Milky Way. Now, Tun 618 is not just a supermassive black hole, it's an ultramassive one. This term is reserved for black holes with masses exceeding 10 billion suns. But how did Tun 618 grow to such a size? One theory suggests that black holes can increase in size through the accumulation of mass over time, a process known as accretion. Essentially, these black holes are cosmic vacuum cleaners pulling in everything that gets too close, including stars, gas, dust, and even other black holes. The estimated age of Tun 618 further supports this theory. It's believed to be around 12 billion years old. Given this vast time scale, Tun 618 has had plenty of time to accumulate mass and grow to its current size.
Another theory involves the notion of direct collapse. This suggests that under certain conditions, a large gas cloud in the early universe could collapse under its own gravity, bypassing the stage of forming stars and going straight to black hole formation. This could result in the creation of a supermassive black hole in a relatively short amount of time. These theories, while compelling, are not definitive. The size of ton 618 exceeds what current models of black hole growth allow. This suggests that either our models need to be revised or that ton 618 grew in a way that we don't yet understand. The immense size of ton 618 is a testament to the mysteries and wonders of our universe. This celestial giant challenges our understanding of the cosmos, reminding us just how much there is still to discover. The size and mass of ton 618 have significant implications for the cosmos. This supermassive black hole doesn't just sit idly in the celestial sphere, it's a cosmic powerhouse with a profound impact on its surrounding environment and the universe as a whole. Ton 618's gravitational influence is nothing short of phenomenal. Every black hole exerts a gravitational pull, but Ton 618's reach is on a whole new level. Its gravitational field is so strong that it can hold entire galaxies in its sway, bending the path of anything that ventures too close. This immense black hole releases an extraordinary amount of energy into the universe. You see, when matter falls into a black hole, it doesn't just disappear quietly. Instead, it accelerates and heats up, emitting high-energy radiation in the process. In the case of Ton 618, this energy output is so colossal that it outshines the galaxy it resides in, but the impact of Ton 618 goes beyond its immediate neighborhood. This black hole serves as a beacon in the cosmos, its energy emissions helping us understand the nature of the universe itself. As the matter spirals into Ton 618, it generates a brilliant quasar one of the brightest objects in the universe. This quasar, in turn, sheds light on the distribution of matter in the universe, the expansion of the universe, and the nature of dark energy. Ton 618, this gargantuan cosmic entity, also plays a crucial role in the life cycle of stars. The intense gravitational pull of the black hole can trigger the formation of new stars, contributing to the cosmic circle of life. In conclusion, Ton 618 isn't just a massive black hole, it's a gravitational titan, an energy powerhouse, a beacon of knowledge and a celestial nursery. It's a testament to the awe-inspiring complexity and grandeur of the cosmos. Ton 618 in its silent majesty holds sway over its cosmic neighborhood. The fascination with Ton 618 is far from over. This gargantuan black hole, unfathomably large and powerful, continues to be the focus of many astronomical studies. Our endeavours to understand it are not merely academic exercises, but crucial steps towards a deeper understanding of our universe. The data we gather from observing Ton 618 and its ilk can enlighten us about the nature of black holes, the formation of galaxies, and the very fabric of space-time itself. Ongoing studies are currently exploring Ton 618's rotational speed, the effects of its gravity on surrounding celestial bodies, and the behavior of matter as it approaches its event horizon. Future research promises to shed light on its magnetic field, its interaction with dark matter, and the possibility of a singularity at its core. As we continue to peer into the abyss, Ton 618 remains a beacon of the unknown environment.